Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you the Gardner Bender Multi Cable Staples. And they call it the Snapshot. That's the name of the product. I guess it's because you just snap it shut like that, and that holds it in the back here. So these are the Gardner Bender Multi Cable Staples, and I have eight cables in here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is type NMB, that's non metallic type B, and this is 12 2 with ground. Let me show you around this a little bit. You see, there's the eight cables, and there's four slots, and each slot will take two cables. See, there's two in this one, two in this one, two in this one, two in this one. And the distance from the edge here to right here is an inch and a quarter. So the cables are actually about an inch and three-eighths in. There's a galvanized nail right here. And on this side, you see there's a screw. So you got a nail on this side and a screw on this side. And both the nail and the screw are provided by Gardner Bender. So my question for you today is, do you think this is legal? We got eight 12 2 with ground cables in here. They are more than an inch and a quarter in from the edge. And they are stapled less than four and a half feet apart so what do you think you think this is a, a legal this is it's a lot of cables in one spot so what do you think and uh i'll give you a moment and then we'll go to the nec code and find out here we are at 334.30 securing and supporting non-metallic sheathed cable shall be supported and secured by staples Cable ties listed and identified for securement and support or straps, hangers, or similar fittings designed and installed so as not to damage the cable at intervals not exceeding 1.4 meters, which is 4.5 feet. So we're not exceeding 4.5 feet between the staples, so we're good there. Now we're at Article 300.4D. And it says... Cables and raceways parallel to framing members and furring strips in both exposed and concealed locations where a cable or raceway type wiring method is installed parallel to framing members such as joists, rafters, or studs or is installed parallel to furring strips, the cable or raceway shall be installed and supported so that the nearest outside surface of the cable or raceway is not less than 32 millimeters or one and a quarter inches from the nearest edge of the framing member or furring strips where nails or screws are likely to penetrate. So using the multi-cable staples, our cables were in about an inch and three eighths inches from the edge of the stud, so we're good there. So here we are now at article 110.3b, and it says installation and use. Equipment that is listed, labeled, or both shall be installed and used in accordance with any instructions included in the listing or labeling. So now all we have to do is look for listing, labeling, and instructions. So on the back of the package of the multi-cable staples, here are the instructions. And right over here on the right, it says UL listed. And here on the back of the package, it shows the labeling. Now notice that it is MMB flat cable. This labeling is not for round cable, just flat cable. So here we are at 12-2 with ground, the capacity is 8. That's exactly what we had. We did do the maximum. You can't do any more than 8 with 12-2 with ground. If, if you look right below it, 10-2 with ground, you can only put 4 on this multi-cable staple. But 12-2 with ground, you can put 8 according to the labeling. And it is listed and we followed the instructions. Notice that the capacities for NMB round cable, 14.3 with ground and 12.3 with ground are much smaller 
In fact, you can only put two of either one of those cables on one of these multi-cable staples. And the labeling also shows the capacities for coaxial cables. So there you go, you're good. If you guessed that it's okay to put all eight of those 12 2 with ground cables on the multi-cable staple made by Gardner Bender, you are absolutely correct. Congratulations. I'll put links in my video description for the Gardner Bender multi-cable staples and I'll put a link for the 3M cable stackers and I'll put a link for the Morris products cable stackers and I'll put a link for the DeWalt 20 volt max cable stapler. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.